growth of military power and German ambitions for territorial expansion towards the end of the 1930s spread fear of war all over Europe. The great powers attempted to strengthen their own security with mutual defense pacts. In August 1939, Germany and the Soviet Union made a non-aggression pact with a secret extra clause which brought Finland under the Soviet sphere of influence. The Second World War broke out with Germany's invasion of Poland. At the beginning of October, the Soviet Union presented Finland with territorial claims prompted by the defense requirements of Leningrad. These were not accepted by Finland. Additional military exercises to improve Finnish defenses were undertaken. Finland was able to mobilize some 300,000 men, 450 artillery pieces, 100 anti-aircraft guns, 20 or so tanks, and a coastal fleet based on two dreadnoughts and five submarines. The Air Force had 114 aircraft in its frontline squadrons. After negotiations had failed at the end of November, the Soviet Union revoked her non-aggression pact with Finland and hostilities began on all fronts on the last day of November 1939. The main effort of the Finnish defences was placed on the Karelian Isthmus, where the Isthmus army was formed. Most Air Force units had also been deployed to support this army. The material and equipment situation of both the flight and the anti-aircraft troops subordinated to the Commander-in-Chief of Air Defence, Major General J. F. Lundqvist, was poor. At the outbreak of hostilities, the best Finnish aircraft were Fokker D-21 fighters, Blenheim bombers and Fokker CX liaison aircraft. Other types of aircraft were too old for frontline operations. Fighter squadrons of the 2nd Air Regiment were formed to protect the lines of communication in the Karelian Isthmus and around Lake Ladoga if needed. Fast Blenheim aircraft with a long radius of action were generally used for reconnaissance over ground considered vital to the land battle. The bomber squadrons of the 4th Air Regiment operated in all sectors. Its mission was long range reconnaissance and bombing raids in the enemy's rear. At the beginning of the Winter War, Soviet ground forces advanced along the entire Eastern Front with Air Force support. As expected, the main thrust of the Red Army's Soviet forces were halted on the Mannerheim Line. Elsewhere, assaults were halted after initial successes. Violent battles developed along main roads with huge losses to the Soviet forces. Soviet air raids were mainly directed at objectives adjacent to railway junctions and ports in South and Southeast Finland, as well as industrial plants such as Tampere and Uvescula.
Helsinki experienced the worst bombing raid during the first days of the war. For Finnish fighter pilots, the first two months of the war were very successful. Air victories totaled nearly 100 with amazingly few losses of their own. Lieutenant Jordama Sardavanto's feat in shooting down six Soviet bombers in four minutes attracted worldwide acclaim. Attempts were made during the war to acquire new aircraft for the Air Force suitable for Finnish conditions. In the latter phases of the war, Finland had a total of 118 such aircraft. Most of the combat aircraft only came into service during the final phases of the Winter War, so their contribution was slight. However, the new aircraft severely tested the technical skills of the ground crews. By the beginning of 1940, Finnish Air Force activities had begun to settle down. Weather permitting, single liaison aircraft carried out reconnaissance and harassment missions. squadrons mainly carried out long-range reconnaissance and harassing raids to the east and north of Lake Ladoga. The fighter squadrons covered the railroad lines of communications and interdicted Soviet bombing missions to the interior of the country. A fine contribution to the air war in northern Finland was made by a volunteer Swedish unit, 19 Air Regiment, which from January 1940 supported the Lapland Army group fighting in the wilds of Sala and Kuzamo. This Swedish regiment was equipped with Gloucester Gladiator fighters and Hawker liaison aircraft. During the Winter War, the Swedish regiment destroyed 12 Soviet aircraft. After over a month of trench warfare, reinforced Soviet forces launched a major assault on the Karelian Isthmus. The famous Finnish Mannerheim line was breached at Somma in mid-February. Initially, the Karelian army withdrew to temporary positions, but on the 26th of February, the Supreme Commander was forced to give the order for withdrawal to the Vipuri Tali Vuokso line. This line was doggedly defended by the Finns until the end of hostilities on the 